tutorial, I'll teach you how to get some order into your 2D pattern window. So if you're messy like me, or if you have a huge scene and the patterns start overlapping and being too crowded and you don't know where what is anymore, and you've got a big mess everywhere, there are a few options that can save you a lot of time and get everything orderly and nicely distributed and aligned. So I'm going to select all of these messy overlapping patterns and right click. So let me just drag it up so you can see it. And we've got here two options, Align and Distribute. Let's first say Distribute. So I'm going to Distribute Horizontally, and I'm going to type in 40. And there you can see a preview of what it will be like. They won't be overlapping anymore. There'll be a space of 40 millimeters from each pattern to the next. So we have some air between, and we can easier, easier select individual patterns. So OK, you see, nicely distributed. If I undo that, and I say Distribute, Vertically, well, that will do the same thing just downwards. So let's say 60, that's a bit too much. 20, just a quite a lot. 10, there you can see they're all distributed down. Now, this one is not exactly 10 from the other one, but well, MD is doing its best. Now, about the align option, go to align, and if we say align, oops, where is it? Align left, they're all going to jump to the left, to the leftmost pattern, they're all aligned beneath him. And if we go align right, they'll all align to the right um, segment line of the most protruding pattern. So if I just undo, see hop, and then redo, hop. You just undo two more steps and then just do align on these, align right, and then they all jumped to this pattern, which was the most, um, I mean, to this pattern, which was the most outermost on the right side. When I lined right, they were aligned above him. Undo. And now let's do a line center. Then they all align in the center over over the one that was in the center. It was either this one or this one, or maybe this one. Okay, we've got also top. So they're all going to align to the top of the toppermost pattern. And the same thing happens with bottom. They all align to the bottom of the bottommost one. And if now you wanted to distribute them to have some space in between, you just do distribute horizontally and type in something like 40. And there we've got them nice and orderly, standing in a line like good little boys. And there was one option which I didn't cover yet. And that was distribute, no, align middle, I think. Well, that's pretty much like a line top, line bottom, just aligning through the middle. So that's an align and distribute on patterns. You can also do the same thing on internal lines and on points. So let me just pick this point up a bit. I want these points to align in a line. So I'm going to hold down shift, select these three points. Now top, they're all going to jump up to the top of most one. Middle, they're going to align here along the middle. You can align these points also to the x-axis, so that will jump up to the horizontal axis. Or um, won't, they won't be able to do this in this shape, but uh, if we select these two, then we could say align y-axis and then they'll jump straight. These points wouldn't have worked because you know they can't go vertical. These points would work. And then if you wanted this one also to align with them, you'd have to select all three of them. And then you have them all straight. Now, let's just undo those. We can also make these points align if we wanted to. These are internal lines. We can align center, then they all go to the center. And this is the center point, so they're all aligned over him. Or we could say align left, they're all going to jump to the left. Let's undo that. Align right, they'll jump to the right. And if we do align bottom, they'll jump to the bottom and top, they'll jump to the top. And of course the same thing, align to X or to Y, they'll all line up underneath each other. We can also select the internal lines as whole lines instead of just part of the line, the point. And then also go align 
left, and they're all going to crowd over to the left, or line to the right, or crowd over to the right. And then if you wanted to space them out a bit, you can go distribute. And there you go. Same thing like with patterns, works the same for the internal lines. So that's the align and distribute options, and I hope that helps you.